Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to do the summary of an anime movie called as Akira. On July 16, 1988, an atom bomb vaporizes Tokyo City. 31 years after World War 3 in 2019, Neo Tokyo City has risen up, a decrepit city filled with violence and desolation. In a grungy part of the town, a man goes to a bar where the bartender sells drugs to the customers and the TV recaps the day's news. There is unrest due to the unemployment and a bad economy. A young man wearing a red biker suit enters the bar and gathers some friends from the back room, announcing that they will be going after the clowns, a rival by gang on route 5 outside a younger teen tetsuo is admiring a bright red motorcycle with special technical features kaneda the youth in the red suit and the leader of the capsule biker gang walks out of the bar and mocks tetsuo telling him that he doesn't possess the skill to operate the bike which belongs to kaneda the bosuzuku gang rides out in the night they meet the clowns at the designated area chasing them through the skyscraper district where the clowns are knocked off of their bikes bystanders watch as nearby cars are damaged and bombed by the violence in this skirmish tetsuo wipes out and is left alone as the police arrives and the gang splits up A wounded man with dripping blood leads a short green-skinned person through the night streets. He pulls a gun and shoots the pair of pursuing dogs. The group is eventually stopped by police near a group of rioting protesters and in the chaos is shot to death. The little green person cries out in terror as the building begins to collapse. The crowd scrambles for safety and a mustached man and his companion, a young woman named Askei, are split up. Meanwhile, Kaneda's gang continues to pursue the clowns and Tetsuo chases a clown on his own and they approach the scene where the police are attempting to hold back the rioters with water cannons and tear gas. Tetsuo closes in on the clown wearing a red cross logo as the riders wipes out. Tetsuo rides by and viciously hits the down man on the head. When Tetsuo looks up, he sees a green person standing in his path. There is a crash and an explosion afterwards. Kaneda and the rest of the gang arrives on the scene to find Tetsuo semi-conscious in the street while the green person walks away unhurt. Kaneda calls out to him but the person disappears into the darkness. A second green-skinned person then arrives in the hovering chair and speaks to the other in the child's voice, beckoning him to return and saying that there is no escape. A helicopter with an armed paramilitary group lands in the square and forces capsule gang to the ground as a tall man with a jarhead haircut emerges from the helicopter. Colonel Shikishima sends Tetsuo to the hospital while Kaneda and his gang are taken into custody before he leaves in the helicopter with the two green children. At the police station, Kaneda and his gang are interrogated while feigning innocence. Eight of the clown have been put into the hospital but they come up with an alibi, being that they were going to visit his dying mother and got attacked by the clowns. The police checks their alibi while they put them on a bench where several members of the street riots are also awaiting interrogation. Kaneda notices K being held with another group of suspects. Suddenly, a radical member of the Freedom Revolution goes mad and activates a grenade in the middle of the station, attempting to kill himself and the police. The grenade, however, turns out to be defective, and the nearby police subdue him. The other police officers then informs the capsules that they have contacted their schools and therefore find their alibi plausible, releasing them from the custody. Kaneda uses this as an opportunity to free Kei as well as stating that she is one of them too. Unknown to him, she is a member of terrorist organization, though she teases him for attempting to flirt by freezing her before she slips away. Still not knowing her name, Kaneda yells at her right as an explosion happens at the police station. Meanwhile, at the hospital, Tetsuo is placed in a full body scanner. He is overseen by the doctor Onishi, who suddenly makes an alarming discovery. He contacts Shikishima, who is in the meeting with the politicians, discussing a possible mole in the execution council. Arriving at the hospital, Shikishima is told by Onishi that Tetsuo possesses psychic abilities similar to Akira. A young esper like the two green children who caused the nuclear like destruction of Tokyo 31 years prior. Project Akira was sprung from the secret government lab run by the dissident which is an underground terrorist group. But there was an error involving the growth pattern. 
only she claims that Tetsuo possesses the key to solving that dilemma. However, Shikishima is concerned about Tetsuo's powers and after receiving a prophecy from Esper Kiyoko, who envisioned the Neo Tokyo's destruction, Shikishima instructs Onishi to kill Tetsuo if he thinks the power might get out of control. Once awakened, however, Tetsuo escapes from the hospital and makes his way towards the hideout for the capsule gang in a vandalizing wreck of the building. There, the rest of the gang is recuperating with girlfriends from the evening's events, discussing their surprise of the cooperation between police and the army. A timid young girl, Kaori, expresses her concerns for her boyfriend Tetsuo. Suddenly he appears and proposes that they run away together. They steal Kaneda's bike and ride off, but not before Kaneda and others sees him leaving. Tetsuo and Kaori ride until the bike stalls. They are then confronted by three clowns who accost Kaori and threaten to torch the bike. Kaneda and rest of the capsule arrives and helps Tetsuo fight off the clowns. Tetsuo, however, angry at having to be rescued, takes his frustration on a fallen clown, kicking him fiercely. He begins to suffer a severe migraine, hallucinating that his internal organs have dropped out of his lower chest and hearing the word Akira. Not a moment later, a CRC team arrives by armored vehicles and helicopters. Having pinpointed his location through the scanning devices, Dr. Onishi has Tetsuo taken back to the hospital. Now before moving further into the video, I would request you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel because if you are interested in anime, manga or manhua content then this is the right place for you. So if you are interested then definitely subscribe to Weep Diver, leaving Kaneda and his gang to wonder about what's going on. Nearby an explosion rocks a building and police shoots and kills fleeing armed men. Kaneda is drawn to the violence and sees a moustached man fleeing with Kei. Kaneda follows her as police flashlights brackets her attempt to escape. Kaneda assists Kei in escaping as the cop is shot and killed. When they reach the resistance headquarters, Kei frantically calls out to the moustached man named Ryu while Kaneda tries to convince her to turn herself in for killing the officer. Just then, Ryu and some other resistance fighters arrives and mistakes Kaneda for a spy while locking him up inside a room. There, they discuss their earlier failed attempt at kidnapping Hashtag 27, which turns out to be the first green esper child Takashi. He proposes a new plan to gain access to the government facility to find what they can on the newest subject, Tetsuo. After being discovered evas dropping, Kaneda explains to the suspicious group that he and Tetsuo are best friends and they are from the same gang and that he can help. Ryu seeks advice from the short old man named Nezu who speaks of Akira as a symbol for hope and change while he watches fires and protests in the city's streets from afar. Meanwhile, Tetsuo experiences memories from his days as a boy. Suddenly, his memories turns into a nightmarish hallucinations. Colonel Shikishima approaches an aged green-skinned esper girl Kiyoko sitting inside a crib while Onishi scans readings. Kiyoko is seen to have a 25 tattooed on her palm. She makes an ominous prediction. Shikishima flies out with a few scientists before entering a large oval-like facility. They enter the free space and begins activating some of the equipments within. A massive door slowly opens and the colonel enters the carnivore's chamber. A small red light and the sign reads as Akira 28. Colonel Shikishima then attends a meeting with the Supreme Executive Council where he is angered by the members' refusal to further fund his project. He questions them, stating that his intents are the duties of a soldier before he angrily and abruptly leaves, while council member Nezu smiles at the colonel's distress. In his hospital room within the government facility, Tetsu experiences fantastic hallucinations of a toy rabbit, a teddy bear, a toy car and milk. Confused about what's happening, Tetsuo steps out on a glass and cuts his foot, which startles the three green children responsible for the hallucinations, Takashi, Kyoko and Masaru. Frightened at the sight of blood, the esper child flee despite their attempt to kill Tetsuo. Angered and then realizing the power he holds, Tetsuo chases them through the hospital, killing anyone who stands in his way and wreaking havoc with his telekinetic abilities. Meanwhile, the resistance group, having made it into facility disguised as electrical workers, are spotted sneaking into the sewers. During the violent shootout, Kaneda manages to take over the flying platform and an aerial vehicle flown by soldiers and takes Kei as they flee the scene. However, they are quickly detained by soldiers. 
Using Kei as a medium and possessing her, Kyoko leads them into a government nursery where Tetsuo is located. Kaneda faces Tetsuo, explaining that he is here to rescue him, but Tetsuo won't have it. He angrily retorts that he needs no rescuing now, and since he has discovered where Akira is, he is eager to find out what he really is, hoping to make his headaches go away. Possessing stronger powers than the three espers, Tetsuo manages to escape and use his abilities to fly away. His destination is Neo Tokyo Olympic Stadium, under which the Akira is being held in a cryogenic storage facility. Desperate to find and stop Tetsuo, Colonel Shikishima places Neo Tokyo under martial law. Tetsuo leaves a trail of destruction through the city before he stops at the bar seen at the start of the film. Still wearing his hospital gown, he approaches the bartender now alone. Tetsuo demands capsules. Before we see two of his fellow capsule gang members, Yamagata and Kai, walk in from outside. They find the inside of the bar totally destroyed and the bartender lying dead as Tetsuo sits on a pile of rubble and furniture giggling. Perplexed and disgusted, they wonder if the person they are seeing is really Tetsuo or somebody else. Tetsuo speaks to them cryptically before intimidating and attacking them. On the other side, K is used again by Kyoko to speak to Kaneda, having been left behind and locked once more in a holding cell, warning him of Tetsuo's immense power. A cell door unlocks and the two escape. Meanwhile, a government representative arrives to arrest Shikishima but the colonel's men remains loyal to him and assist colonel in escaping. He mobilizes his men to the stadium and Nezu, the government mole, listens to this report from home and murders his staff before Ryu arrives to inform him of the mission's failure to capture Tetsuo. Nezu then shoots him and leaves with a briefcase full of money. However, he later dies in an alley from a heart attack. Having followed him, Ryu also dies from his wounds. Kai manages to find Kaneda and Kei at an urban water filled ditch and explains that he and Yamagata found Tetsuo, who acted strangely and somehow killed Yamagata. Angered by the news of his friend's death, Kaneda vows vengeance. Takashi and Kyoko then disappears, beckoning Kei who walks over the water before disappearing. Kyoko tells Kaneda and Kai that Tetsuo's power have become unstable and they are trying to stop him. Kaneda argues that Tetsuo is his friend and that he is responsible for finding a way to defeat and kill him. Tetsuo makes his way towards the stadium, killing soldiers in his path and destroying vehicles and helicopters. Tetsuo exhumes Akira's entire cryonic chamber from the ground and opens it, but finds nothing aside from dissected body parts housed in an individual canister. Afterwards, Kaneda, armed with an experimental laser cannon, rides into the chaos and confronts Tetsuo. As they fight, Shikishima intervenes with an orbital weapon called as SOL, the beam of which severs Tetsuo's right arm. Enraged, Tetsuo flies into space and rips SOL out of orbit, causing it to disintegrate in the atmosphere. He then returns to the stadium where Kaori arrives, finding him screaming in pain due to the intense power while he synthesizes an artificial, mechanical arm using the remains from Akira. The arm seems to throb with a life of its own. Shikishima finds Tetsuo and explains to him that the Esper's mind-controlling drugs administered to Tetsuo were meant to stunt the evolution of his uncontrollable abilities, but they are weakening. He pleads with Tetsuo to return to the hospital but Tetsuo attacks him too. Shikishima shoots back while Kaneda appears, intervening with the matter. The three Espers arrive at the stadium too and appear to try and communicate with the remains of Akira in the canisters. Unable to control his powers any longer, Tetsuo's body begins to morph. His arm transforms into a horrific block that attempts to swallow the colonel. Kaneda then shoots it, causing it to recede, but Tetsuo's entire body swells into a protoplasmic mutation, crushing Kaori to death in the process. Kaneda escapes as the Espers awakens Akira. Now appearing as a young boy without the need for a physical body, his appearance triggers a monstrous explosion, and Kyoko grabs Shikishima, transporting him to safety in the nick of time. Akira creates a blinding ball of energy that engulfs the entire city and begins to absorb Tetsuo, who cries out for Kaneda's help. Desperate to save his friends, Kaneda follows Tetsuo into the energy sphere, followed closely by the three espers who are determined to save Kaneda, though they observe that they might not return. Kaneda experiences Tetsuo's and Akira's childhood memories. Seeing how much Tetsuo trusted Kaneda and witnessing how the three Esper children were first studied upon just before the Tokyo's destruction. 
The expert tells Tetsuo that Akira is sending him away, but somewhere safe. While on the other side, Kaneda is ejected from the inside of the spear just before it explodes. The explosion partially destroys most of the Neo Tokyo, leaving a gaping hole where the spear was that is quickly flooded by the sea. Dr. Onishi is killed when his laboratory collapses too. Kaneda awakens and is reunited with Kei and Kai. Together, they ride away on their damaged bikes to start anew. Colonel Shikishima emerges from the tunnel where he was placed by Kyoko and watches as the sun rises over the destroyed city. Elsewhere, a cosmic bang breaches the darkness and the voice speaks out, I am Tetsuo. Coming into full control of his powers, he initiates a new universe. The End and I think that was for today's video guys, that was the video about Akira movie summary. What are your thoughts about this movie? Have you already watched this movie? If you have watched this movie then let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews, recommendations, news theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis. So if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.